Hey, so um, two days ago on Monday, today is Wednesday, I was hit up by this guy kind of out of the blue on LinkedIn. We had a few mutual connections and um, he started kind of pitching this um, this job at me. Um, and it seemed like a little bit suspicious, but I was like, hey, we have a few mutual connections. Maybe I can I give you a go. Anyways, sounded like awfully similar to a pyramid scheme, but um, he hasn't actually mentioned what the job is, but I thought I'd kind of share with you, um, I guess, what what it looks like. This is the guy, I'll blur out some of his stuff, but um, he he's a co-founder, allegedly, of this um, uh, Fox First company, which is actually a pretty cool company. I've seen them all around Sydney. Um, so I was like, all right, I like that company. Um, he asked me to connect, I saw our mutual connections, and um, I was like, yeah, let's give it a go. Um, starts messaging me. He goes, Hey Jordan, good to connect. I look forward to following your post and hope we can be of value to each other. I see you're searching for a job ATM. Are you almost finished with studies? Pascal. I was like, that's a bit weird. Um, but yeah, I'll reply. This could be interesting. Hey mate, that's correct. I'm in my final semester and keen to be finished. I love your van that I've seen. And he says, I bet law would be quite demanding. Good to hear you've seen us around. Stop by and say hi next time. Hopefully I'll be in the van. All right. Then he asks, how's job hunting going for you? So a tactic that they, they usually do is kind of start with small talk and then kind of like wait a bit and then slip in like, oh, I see you're looking for a job or like something to, to do with your job search. And I'm like, yeah, job hunting's going all right. Been to a few interviews, blah, blah, blah. It's quite slow. And then he's like, keeps with a small talk because that keeps you interested. And then he mentions, well, I'm currently expanding a business on my side of the catering company and I'm looking to take on on the side of my catering company, sorry. And I'm looking to take on a few potential partners, but it's not a full-time thing and a different industry. So it's not related, it has nothing to do with my catering company, but I'll mention my catering company anyway, um, because that's an actual company. Um, and then he asks if I'm interested in doing something on the side. And so at this point, I'm like, this is a pyramid scheme or a multi-level marketing thing, whatever. But I was like, this could be interesting and I'm gonna go along with it. The next day, so Tuesday, he messaged me that pretty late at night on Monday. Um, next day, I'm like, that's right. What kind of people are you looking for? That's exciting. I'm interested. What, what would it involve? Because I know that they're very against telling you what it involves for some reason. He mentions being introduced to a business businessman from Dallas who spent his early years building assets alongside his job, blah, 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 a multi-level marketing thing. Not looking for employees, rather potential partners, i.e. you won't get paid because you're not an employee. Not looking for any particular education or degrees, but a certain level of drive and ambition. Ambition, sorry. And then he's like, I want to give you a phone call because it's just a bit more awkward on a phone call. You can't be like, yeah, shut up on a phone call. We can, but like most people aren't that rude. I was like, yeah, I'll give him my number. I told him to give me a ring after I finish work um because i wanted to kind of record the conversation he messaged me at 8 p.m that night tuesday night hey mate it's pascal got a minute to talk now i didn't not the best time hey and i, I was like how about 9 a.m tomorrow i was like yeah 9 a.m tomorrow is fine anyways fast forward to today he calls me at like 9 15 and he's like starts talking about it i wanted to record it but i wasn't I wasn't able to unfortunately but what he said was a lot of small talk like 15 minutes of small talk and he's like all right about the job we we streamline distribution of products to consumers or whatever so it's like pretty much you sell stuff but he didn't want to say that um he's working with this guy from dallas which is like i don't care about that yeah he's he's not looking for employees like we don't pay people he said that he's looking for partners um which means you effectively He's looking for a network of people and he makes money off the things that other people sell. Um, that other people sell. Um, I had to go for breakfast, so I was like, okay, I gotta go. And he's like, oh, can we ca catch up for coffee or something? I'll tell you more about it. Um, I don't really wanna catch up for coffee with him, but I do wanna kinda keep talking to him about it until he mentions exactly what the job is because I wanna see how long it takes. Um, it's taken two days so far and there's no mention of what exactly you do. Um, but he's like, oh yeah, we can go for coffee in Chatswood on Friday or something, or Thursday, he said. Um, I don't want to meet up with him in person. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll keep you updated. But um, yeah, just like, if you if you are looking for a job, if you say on LinkedIn that you're looking for a job, 
and then someone talks about this but won't tell you what the job is it's most likely a pyramid scheme or multi-level marketing thing a networking thing whatever it's not a good job um you lose money you lose a lot of money doing this kind of stuff so um i just kind of wanted to make people aware um that this is what they're getting into and yeah so i guess my from my perspective i want to waste as much of this person's time so he can't do this to someone else but i also want to make people aware of what's happening to other people so um i'll keep you updated i'll post some updates but i hope this has been insightful um and thanks for listening